Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Acharya group of institution and I'm going to talk about the complete details about this college. Before that, this is located in Solodinelli area of Bangalore. So one of the key highlights is it has got a quite good infrastructure like 120 acres of sprawling campus with all the facilities. So they have 100 plus uh, programs, right? They have 70 plus, uh, you know, industry partnership with uh, major companies in India and I will talk about them later in this video video and they have thousand plus distinguished faculty so these are not just acharya institute of technology but across all acharya group colleges right it's from 75 different nationalities or countries are studying here and spending a good amount of time in a sped you know, skill building with the global immersion programs which are the key highlights here and it's a completely tech uh, enabled campus and provides for good uh, great infrastructure for sports I will say so uh, they say nobody plays gully cricket in Acharya the reason is that they have Olympic side stadium right and 30 plus outdoor and indoor items are there and four acres are only for the sporting amenities right so campus events also they do have a good amount of uh, fest across year the Acharya Habba is the main fest there and not talking about the institute so in acharya institute of technology as you know so if you talk about uh, courses which are there specifically in acharya institute of technology ait so be programs therefore in the areas of aeronautical engineering artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, the biotechnology civil engineering computer science and engineering and csc with data science specialization electrical and communication engineering ece information science engineering mechanical engineering and the mechatronics engineering so those are b courses and postgraduate program they offer uh, you know in ait itself mba affiliated to vtu and mca also affiliated to vtu so talking about the admission process so first i will start with domestic admission indian students can take admission through different uh, entrance exam so if you are looking for engineering admissions you can get admission through 
केसेट एग्जाम और सीईटी एग्जाम फॉर कर्नाटका डोमिसाइल स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर ऑल अदर स्टूडेंट्स हुआ एट इंडिया लेवल नेशनल लेवल स्टूडेंट्स दे कैन गेट एडमिशन थ्रू कॉमेड के दे ऑल्सो हैव यू नो द मैनेजमेंट कोटा ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ सीट्स इन द इंजीनियरिंग विच यू कैन गेट एडमिशन थ्रू मैनेजमेंट कोटा एंड स्टूडेंट्स हु आर लुकिंग फॉर एडमिशन टू एम बी ए एंड एम सी ए प्रोग्राम्स दे कैन गेट एडमिशन थ्रू पी जी सी टी एग्जाम विच इज कर्नाटका पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट सो दिस आर द डायरेक्ट एडमिशन हॉटलाइन नंबर यू कैन डायरेक्टली कॉल दम एंड गेट इन टच विद दैट एंड फॉर द एन आर आई स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव देर ओन आचार्य एंट्रेंस टेस्ट राइट ए टी एंड प्रोवाइडेड विद सम स्कॉलरशिप एंड यू कैन ज्वाइन अंडर द एन आर आई कोटा फॉर डिफरेंट कोर्सेज विच आई हैव जस्ट मैं सो फॉर द ऑल डोमेस्टिक इंक्वायरीज एडमिशन एट आचार्य डॉट इन इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स व्हाट्सअप नंबर इज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड हियर and also talking about the hostel accommodation so it provides for hostel facilities which has around 12 halls of residences and it can accommodate uh, 1500 students so talking about there are five residences for boys and uh, seven hostels for girls and they offer single double triple occupancy rooms right and uh, all the amenities and facilities i have already spoken you also get the laundry services on the uh, fees basis and uh, fees varies from a room type right so depending on which room type and facility you take so that you should also know the type of recruiters which are visiting though they may not be the mass recruiters but there are it companies like infosys tcs hash team and mu sigma then there are other group companies like volvo which is automobile bosch which is also in, uh, in engineering segment atkins which is in aerospace and uh, some others like uh, you know adobe which may be the niche recruiter other companies which are visiting like cognizant capgemini entity zorient all of these are it companies also emphasis mindtree they have mentioned subex is also an it company now let's talk about the nrf placement details which have they have disclosed to the uh an rf for ranking purpose so you can now see the last three year performance and you will know if you want to join this college right so if you see 2022 passing batch right that time 787 students were eligible to participate in placements but total number of students are more than 1000 so only 787 were eligible out of which only 523 got placed so placements is never any time above 50% it's less than 50% placement with the median salary of just 4 lakhs in the next year also you can see in 2023 batch 634 students eligible out of almost 1100 to 1200 students and eligible and placed are only 456 so its placements are not at all increasing median salaries are not at all increasing 4 lakhs median salary and in 2024 batch also you can see Only showing six twenty nine eligible and only four sixty got placed. So none of the numbers are increasing, which are the number of placed students and not the num median salary increased only to four point one lakhs, which is too low for doing engineering through K S uh, even Comet K, which is high fees and in the management quota also. So I, I will not go for this college and try to skip unless you get computer science, information science and E C. only top 3 branches you can do after these three branches it is better not to do here right so that's all my update thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all colleges in karnataka